Hi guys, welcome to another beautiful apartment designed by Bonito Designs and this is Samya. Today we are here at Mr. Nagesh and Anusha's 2BHK apartment located in Concord Amber which is at Halu Siddhapura. So I'll take you around. Guys, we're now in the foyer area. Towards my left, we have given shoe racks. This is a tall cabinet and right next to that, we have given a seater height cabinet with growers for the air circulation. Attached to this, we have given a very beautiful CNC cutting which acts as a partition between the living area and the foyer. And this uh, portion is very beautiful. It has a very irregular leaf shapes. And to maintain it, we have given, uh, this is sandwiched by the toughened glass and this is held by the wooden panel which looks very beautiful and very clean. This is an entrance wall which also acts as a welcoming wall because this portion has come out very beautifully. We have given wooden panelling for the frame and in between we have given stone cladding and the colour and the texture is going along with the wood. And we have given, we have extended a ledge and they have already placed a very peaceful beautiful Buddha here and it is highlighted by the spotlights from the rafter which is actually very nice. And over here we have given cabinets at a seater height to store your newspapers and magazines and this curtain is extended on either side maybe in future they can place a big uh, artifact or vase on either side and on top if you observe we've given a pebble tray which is very very nice and it is lit by the cove light and there are so many multicolor pebbles and the cove light is actually giving an extra essence for this whole uh, partition which is very very beautiful. We are now entering the living area. What you see here is a very nice TV unit. We have taken the wooden panelling from the CNC cutting and we have extended to the TV unit. And over here we have given a back panelling to conceal the wires. And behind this we have given a very nice uh, beautiful texture uh, in white colour and to highlight this we have given cove light. And on that side, we have given two ledges to display their artifacts. And our clients, I think they're fond of Buddha, so they've placed a very nice Buddha on, on top of the ledge. Over here, we've given two drawers on either side for more storage. And in between, we've made a provision to fit their set of box and DVD players. And not to forget about the false ceiling, we've given a very simple periphery in the living and in the foyer. And in between the dining and the living, we've made a very nice zigzag shape uh, uh, fall ceiling with rafters in between which is lit by the cove light and spotlight which looks really elegant. And now we are entering the dining area and to talk about the dining area we have given a very simple periphery with spotlights and cove lights and there is a very beautiful designer uh, light which is hung and this is giving a very beautiful glow to this whole area. And if you observe this curtains, which is really matching with the theme, we have used a brown and white uh, laminates overall in the foyer, living and as well as in the kitchen. So this is actually going along with the theme I can say, which is very, very nice. So now let's move on to the kitchen now. Guys, before entering the kitchen, there's another partition here between the kitchen and the dining area. We have wooden panelling which holds three see-through niches to display their artefacts and to highlight the artefacts we've given spotlights which is very very cute. You can see nice uh, cute Ganesha which is highlighted. And over here we've given uh, a crockery unit. Uh, we have given cabinet to keep their crockery items which is uh, sealed by the frosty glass. And for the entrance of the kitchen we've given wooden panelling again. So now let's enter the kitchen. Guys, we're now in the cute little kitchen. We've used white frosty glossy laminate and as a combination we've used brown glossy laminate which is going very well. And on top we've given end to end lofts and on either side of the chimney we've given uh, uh, cabinets for easy access for the spice and daily items. And towards my left we've given a tall unit with two hydraulic top lifts with frosted glass and in between we've given a provision for microwave to fit in and below that we've given a cabinet for more storage. 
Right next to that, we have a bottle pullout and cutlery cup and saucer and thali unit. And right next to that, we have tandem boxes and these are cabinets for extra storage and that's dustbin and detergent holder. And we've given white uh, quartz for the uh, countertop, which has a very nice glitter and it glows all the time, I guess. So overall, this kitchen is very beautiful and functional. Before entering the master bedroom, we have a very beautiful designer light hung here in the passage, which is very, very welcoming to the master bedroom as well as the study room. So let's enter the master bedroom now. Guys, we're now in the master bedroom, which is very, very elegant. What you see here is a huge king size bed with storage below. And on either side of the cot, we have side tables with the uh, drawers. And one side table is turned to be a dresser, which has a long, tall mirror. And it has a very nice, unique uh, design on top with wooden texture. And if you see, we have two highlighters to highlight this beautiful pa painting, which is right above the headboard. Uh, it has some very, very nice theme which runs along with the whole house, I can say. So right opposite to this uh, cot, we have slider wardrobes, which has concealed handles. And on top, we have lofts running end to end for more provision for storage. As I always say, not to forget about the fall ceiling, our designers have bought unique ideas for the ceiling. Here you can see, if you cleanly observe, we have given plywood puttas which runs from the side table and continues even on the fall ceiling, which brings a very beautiful rhythm to the whole area, which is actually very, very nice and it's very interesting. Guys, now let's enter the study room, which has come out very nice. And we've used white color uh, frosty laminate and gray olive laminates for this whole room. And on top, we've given end-to-end -end lots for more storage. And here, we've given designer ledges. And this is to fit in your printer. And this you can make as a mini library. You can store books and you can display artifacts. And over here, we've given a very simple study uh, table. And on either side, we've given in the corner, we've given box to conceal the wires for the system. And right next to that, we've given openable two-door wardrobes. And for the fall ceiling, we've given simple peripheries. And in between, we've given box-shaped designs, which is lit by the cove light and spotlights. Overall, this room looks simple and classy. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this beautiful journey. So let's hear from the cute couple who stays here. Uh, that's Mr. Nagesh and this is his wife, Anusha. And this is our designer, Kusuma. So let's hear from y'all. So you did a lot of homework, you saw yeah. a lot of videos of yes. Bonito. In so fact, did you... we went to multiple vendors also. Okay. So we, we spoke to them, we spoke to them, we heard their ideas and then we came back to Bonito. So you thought Bonito was the right? Yeah. <laughs>